What's up guys, uh, Tech Mule back again, and uh, today I am going to show you yet another bypass. And I had a lot of people that commented on the last one involving a gear device that didn't have a gear device, and so what did I do? I found a way to do it without any gear device, um, and just your Mac. And uh, there's also going to be, I'm going to show you how uh, to do it on Windows 8 and Windows 7. But not Windows 10, so if you have a Windows 10, what you're going to need to do is either borrow somebody's Mac or install a virtual terminal with El Capitan on it, which if enough people want me to, I'll probably do a tutorial on that. It's really simple, really easy, but your computer has to be able to handle it. Um, but this one is going to show you how to do it with just your Mac, and you can get by and into your phone, and this should work on any Samsung phone and or should work on your uh, tablets as well. Um, so anyway, yeah, let's get right into it. All right, let's get to the good stuff. As you can see, we've got the FRP on this beast and we're going to go back. Okay, so here, just as with the rest of them, we are going to have to not rattle the camera like that, but kill the internet. And so I have my finger on a switch. I suggest using a mobile hotspot to easily connect and disconnect. It's a lot quicker than using your router and unplugging it, or do, like I'm doing, flicking a switch on a power strip. It takes a little bit longer to come back up. So we are gonna click next, click agree, and kill the power. So you kill it right when it switches to that software update. And then click next when it says couldn't sign in and we're through. And now you are gonna want to turn that Wi-Fi back on. We're just gonna get to where we need to be for right now. Okay, now I'm gonna set down the phone while the Wi-Fi connects and I am going to tell you guys what you need. Should have done this in the beginning, but whatever, I'm not organized. Okay, so you're gonna need obviously a Mac. That's why in the title it says for Mac. Um, there is a way to do it on PC. As of right now, I am downgrading because on my PC, I have Windows 10. You cannot do it with Windows 10. You can do it with Windows 7 and you can do it with Windows 8. Those two will work and I will be posting a video on that. But what you can do if you don't want to downgrade is you can download and install a virtual machine of El Capitan, which if enough people want me to, I can post a uh, tutorial on that, on that. And then you can just follow this on your Windows computer through a virtual terminal. Um, or you can borrow somebody's Mac. Or you can do another way actually if you have a bluetooth headset i'm going to be putting out a video on how to do this with a bluetooth um, headset it can be cheap um, i got mine for eight dollars that you will see in the video from walmart um, so yeah there's multiple ways that we're going to be able to show you how to get through this one if you have a mac you don't need anything besides your mac what we're going to do is we're going to download and install it's called phone amego and i'm going to put a link down in the description so you can just click on that and go directly to the download page all right so wi-fi is back up on this boost and we're going to click privacy policy oh wi-fi is not up never mind i like now it is and if the screen goes blurry the s7 doesn't focus besides in the center of the screen how horrible is that so when I'm showing you both of these, I'm going to have to move one out of the way to get the other to focus. We're going to click on privacy policy. You know, what good is this quick autofocus if, you know, it doesn't do it right. So we're going to click on share. And if you can't, click share. And if you can and it comes up with a white screen and it doesn't show the green guy with the setup wizard or the purple icon with the install slash setup wizard, um, you're going to need to downgrade your firmware. And you can go to my last video, which shows you how to downgrade it with Odin. If you are on a Mac, like in this tutorial, you will need to use Jodin. Um, both work the same way. Um, 
I don't think I'll do a tutorial on Jodin um, because you can find those online if you really need to. All right, but once you downgrade or you're here, you click on the green guy and hold, and it's going to come to this. Now, first off, if this is your first time attempting to bypass, click on storage. If this clear data button is clickable, go to my first video and save yourself a little bit of time and do the bypass with the clear data. But for all of us that are here for this reason, we're going to click force stop. And we are going to pull down the bar because that's what force stop lets us do. And we are going to enable Bluetooth. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to pull the phone off to the side, pull the Mac up close so you guys can see this. And like I said, one or the other is going to be blurry. So depending on which I'm trying to show. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually open up our Bluetooth settings. Click scan. Now, as you can see over here, you can see my Samsung, but I'm going to do it for some reason. It pairs a lot easier going from the phone than it does the other way. It, it, it's hit and miss. Okay. So now we're connected. We can close out of that and go and open up and pull this off to the side. So the screen on the computer is Good. We're going to open up Phone Omega, which doesn't actually launch an app. It, up here in your status bar, you can click on this little icon, little guy with the telephone, and go to Preferences. And we are going to add the device in here and connect to this program via Bluetooth. Takes a little bit to launch the uh, Preferences. And then once we connect, you are going to have to allow some things on the phone. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this top box, which is enable telephone devices. And then we're going to go down here and click on the plus button to add a device. Make sure it says Bluetooth cell phone and other. Click attach device. Right here, you're going to see the Samsung device is available. And then we are going to click on hands-free gateway and select. And then this is going to connect and you will see and be prompted to allow two different pop-up boxes on your phone, which I will put into focus so you can see that. All right, allow and allow. Okay, now over here you'll see there is a telephone signal or icon, some bars, and a green battery. That means you're good to go. We're going to come down to this field right here, which will be empty for you guys. I've done this obviously before. And you're going to click three ones. And then we're going to go over to this little button that says dial. And the first time it probably won't work, it will come up and it will say emergency um, calls only and it'll probably just flash the screen and go out but the second time it will work it may work the first click dial oh, click messages if it doesn't pull up with that the first time and it just comes up with a little box that says emergency calls only click OK and then click dial again and then it will pull up to that screen and then you click messages as soon as it pulls up to that screen as if it's trying to call click messages to send a text message we're just going to send a text message to that 111. It's not going to go through. There's no SIM card. It's not activated. But that doesn't matter. What we're going to type in is root junkie sdl.com and click send. Now it fails to send, but we've got ourselves a clickable link. And that's going to pull up this browser, which we don't want to use. So we are going to click more, open in browser, and lo and behold, we've got our Chrome, which is where we need to be. Click accept and continue. Click no thanks. And we are going to scroll down to where it says apps. Click on apps. 
And then we are going to scroll down to where it says FRP. Click on FRP. Once again, scroll down to the very top selection where it says rootjunkie.frp bypass and click on that. We're going to click allow and then we're going to click OK. And that's going to start downloading. Then in here, we want to type Samsung apps go. Can't click these, they'll send you back to the uh, FRP mode. Click Samsung Galaxy Apps. Let that load, scroll down, click Samsung Galaxy Apps, and that is going to launch the Samsung Store where we will go to search, type in ES, not EA Sports, ES File Manager or File Explorer, sorry, and we are going to download that and you want to put in your Samsung information make sure you spell it right alright and we're done with the Mac, so we can actually cancel out of this. And I'm going to slide that on back. Okay. Whoa. I must have actually hit something. So, obviously it's going to come up with Accept and Download. Click Accept and Download, and then click on ES File Explorer. So as soon as it's done installing, we can click Open. Click open. And get past the little tutorial. Click cancel. Click on downloads. And there you're going to see that root junkie FRP bypass app that we downloaded. We're going to click on that. We're going to click install, package installer. Go to settings to allow unknown sources. Click OK. And then we're going to click install. Now we are going to click open, click these three little buttons right here, and browser sign in. OK. And here you are going to sign in with your valid Google account that you actually have access to. And I'm going to make mine different than the one that I set the phone up with, otherwise this would be pointless because I could just sign in anyway. Go, put in your password, sign in. All right. And now it's going to kick you back to this screen. Now, what we want to do is just hit the back button, go crazy with it, go all the way back to this screen. Click back, back, right here. We can click close. Now we're going to click the little down and next. Now click start. Click next. Next. Agree. And as you can see, we now have your first account is ready for use. You can add and remove accounts later in settings. We are officially in. But, you'll see, there is a catch for right this second. And usually it sits on just a sec for a lot more than just a sec. As I said in my other video, lots of secs. This video is rated are for having so many sex. Seriously. I don't know why they would put just a sec on a screen that sits there for way more than just a sec. Mm
Dun, 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 dun. Remember to check techmule.tech. It's a website I'm actually in the process of building and designing right now. And that's going to have all these videos, plus written out tutorials, uh, different blog posts, crazy weird stuff, um, and whatever. So be sure to periodically check that and add it to your bookmark. And if there's anything that you guys want to see, um, you want a tutorial on, anything like that, if we get enough interest, uh, I'll probably take the time to do it. Why not? All right. That sack was a long sack. We're just going to go through all this. Not now. No thanks. Don't need to set up a pin. Skip anyway. Another sack. Oh, dear God. Oh, that one was actually a sack. Great. Down here. Later. Finish. And as you're going to see, we get this screen, which we saw in my first video when you did the clear data. So we just want to, if you click set up phone, it's not going to do anything. It's going to do just a second, come right back. So what we want to do is power cycle, restart, restart. See that fancy new custom? Not that we even installed any custom ROM or anything like that, but, you know, who doesn't like an unlocked master lock on their home screen or their uh, boot? All right, look at that, and we are officially into the phone. You now have bypassed the FRP and are in the phone. And as you can see on this... This phone is a AT&T S7 Edge with the newest that they've released, June 1st security patch. And there you have it. You're into your phone, didn't have to have any gear device, didn't have to have a Bluetooth headset. All you needed was your trusty Mac and you got in. Well, there you have it. You guys are now into your phones. Uh, didn't have to go out and get a gear device if you didn't have a gear device, and you have access to your phones. So if it works for you, comment down in the comments and uh, let us know. Um, I'm also, like I said, going to be doing a video with a Bluetooth headpiece. The only reason why you should ever have a Bluetooth headpiece is to bypass your phone. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll be posting a video on that. This was eight bucks, so if you can't afford eight bucks, you shouldn't have the phone. So anyway, subscribe, um, comment, like, share, get into your phones that you can't access. And yeah, stay tuned for more tutorials, um, posts, things like that. I'll be back.